A ruler once came to Jesus by night to ask in the way of salvation and light. The master made answer in words true and plain, ye must be born again. Good morning and welcome to the Bible Study Pal podcast. I'm Greg Circle, the preacher for the Church of Christ that meets in Palmyra, Indiana. On today's episode, we continue our reading of the Gospel according to Mark. The goal of this public reading of this portion of Scripture is to spark thoughts for discussion in the midweek Bible study on Wednesday night and prepare for the Book of the Month sermon series that goes through 2023. If you have any thoughts or questions that come to mind during the reading, type them in the comment section below. The translation for this reading comes from the Holy Bible, Berean Standard Bible, BSB, copyright 2016 and 2020 by Bible Hub, used by permission, all rights reserved worldwide. I verily, verily say unto thee, ye must be born again. Let's get into the reading. Once again, Jesus entered the synagogue, and a man with a withered hand was there. In order to accuse Jesus, they were watching to see if he would heal on the Sabbath. Then Jesus said to the man with the withered hand, Stand up among us. And he asked them, Which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil? to save life or to destroy it. But they were silent. Jesus looked around at them with anger and sorrow at their hardness of heart. Then he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. So he stretched it out, and it was restored. At this the Pharisees went out and began plotting with the Herodians how they might kill Jesus. So Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the sea, accompanied by a large crowd from Galilee, Judea, Jerusalem, Idumea, the region beyond the Jordan, in the vicinity of Tyre and Sidon. The large crowd came to him when they heard what great things he was doing. Jesus asked his disciples to have a boat ready for him so that the crowd would not crush him, for he had healed so many that all who had diseases were pressing forward to touch him. And when the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God! But he warned them sternly not to make him known. Then Jesus went up on the mountain and called for those he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve of them, whom he designated as apostles, to accompany him, to be sent out to preach, and to have authority to drive out demons. These are the twelve he appointed, Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, whom he named Boanerges, meaning sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Then Jesus went home, and once again a crowd gathered so that he and his disciples could not even eat. When his family heard about this, they went out to take custody of him, saying, He is out of his mind. And the scribes who had come down from Jerusalem were saying, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons he drives out demons. So Jesus called them together and began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, it cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, it cannot stand. And if Satan is divided and rises against himself, he cannot stand. His end has come. Indeed, no one can enter a strong man's house to steal his possessions unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Truly, I tell you, the sons of men will be forgiven all sins and blasphemies, as many as they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. He is guilty of an eternal sin. Jesus made this statement because they were saying, He has an unclean spirit. Then Jesus' mother and brothers came and stood outside. They sent someone in to summon him, and a crowd was sitting around him. Look, he was told, your mother and your brothers are outside asking for you. But Jesus replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? Looking at those seated in a circle around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Ye must be born again, again, ye must be born again. We invite you to join us as we worship our Lord and study His Word each Sunday morning at 9.15 a.m. for Bible classes for all ages. 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. for two distinct worship services, and each Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. for another chance to study and discuss God's Word. Occasionally, we may alter the p.m. service times for a special event. 
Please check palmyrachurchofchrist.org or our Facebook page for the schedule for the week. If you have any questions or would like to have a Bible study in person or by correspondence, email preacher at palmyrachurchofchrist.org or call 812-364-6215. Thank you for listening. Ye must be born again.